G'day Tech Math here, looking at another fast math trick video, how to instantly convert between miles and kilometers in your head, mentally, uh, and then back between kilometers and miles, so sit back and enjoy. Uh, remember, if you like this video, please hit the like button and remember to subscribe. So anyway, let's just launch straight into this. First off, we're going to have a look at converting miles into kilometers. Uh, all right, so say we had 40 miles and I wanted to see how many kilometers that was instantly. All right, so a bit of FYI here, a bit of for your information, uh, there is 1.61 uh, kilometers in one mile. So that might help you out. Can you tell me how many uh, kilometers 40 miles is? I reckon you need about three seconds. No, you should have already got it. Did you get this answer of 64 kilometers? If I multiply this by 1.61, I'm gonna get my answer, 1.6 is fairly close. It's going to give me a 99% accurate sort of answer. But how can I do that really quickly? Well, it's pretty simple. Okay, because 40 times 1 is going to be 40. That's the first part of our answer. And to that, we're just going to add whatever 40 times 0 0.6 is. This is the same as 6 times 4, okay? All right, so 6 fours are 24. 40 plus 24, we've got this answer of 64 kilometers. And this is 99% accurate. The actual answer is 64.37. So it's pretty simple, right? What about you have a go? So you can give this one a go. How many kilometers is 70 miles? So very, very simple. First off, you're just gonna be going, you know, 70 times one here, which is 70. So you don't really need to do anything. You just need to remember that 70 there. To this, you're gonna be multiplying six times seven. Seven sixes are 42, okay? This is just seven times six. You know, there's a seven, there's a six. Six times seven is 42. You're gonna add these two together and you should get the answer of 112 kilometers. So what you got? Because the actual answer is 112.65. Once again, it's a 99% accurate sort of answer here and a really, really simple thing to do. Okay, so that's how to convert uh, from miles across Two kilometers. So I want to do the opposite now, and I wanted to convert something that was in kilometers into miles. I have no idea why you'd want to do this. I try to avoid miles as much as humanly possible. Controversial, I know, but I love the metric system. It's so nice. Anyway, so say what I was trying to do is I wanted to change uh, 30 kilometers and see what this is in miles. And I want to do this fairly quickly. So as I said before, what we do know is that 1.61 kilometers is equal to one mile. But if we work out the reciprocal of this here, we could also then say that one kilometer is equal to 0 0.62 miles. Okay, and so what we could essentially do is we multiply 30 by 0 0.62, we get our answer. But how could we do this in our head? Well, the way I do this is as follows. I don't want to times by 0 0.6 to get this first part of my answer. I would divide the 30 here by 10 and get three and I would multiply it by six, because it ends up being the same thing. 30 times 0.6 is the same as three times six. So three times six is equal to 18. To get the 0.2 part of our answer, by the way, 18, this is fairly accurate. This is about 97% accurate so far, but if I wanted to get it to that 99, uh, 99, almost 100% accurate, I would deal with this 0 0.02 part. Uh, so, okay, so the way that we deal with the 0 0.2, a really easy way of working out 0 0.2 or something is to divide it by 50, okay? Because 0 0.02 is 1 50th. So 30 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.6, okay? And I would just add these two guys together. 18 plus 0 0.6 is 18.6 miles. That's 18.6 miles. And that is 99.8% accurate. Okay, let's go 70 kilometers and see what that is in miles. Okay, so once again, I'm just gonna go seven times six is equal to 42. Okay, I've divided that by 10 and times it by six. All right, 97% accurate, we're about 42 miles, but let's get it even closer. I'm gonna get 70 and I'm gonna divide that by 50. Okay, so 70 divided by 50 is equal to 1.4. All right, so what do we get if we add these two guys together? We get 43.4 miles. And that is about 99% accurate. So anyway, it's a nice, simple little trick there. I don't know if it's even a trick so much as just, uh, you know, you're just doing basic multiplication, really, aren't you? But it's a little method that you can use to actually uh, change between these two. I think it's fairly handy occasionally uh, you have to do this. Anyway, so hopefully you like this video. 
If you did, please hit the like button and remember to subscribe. Hit the little bell also to get uh, notifications when my new video comes out. I think that's all. Anyway, uh, you have a great time and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.